coming in live and the notifications should go out and um, we are recording this and we are going to be uploading this to both BitChute and YouTube so just to give you guys a lowdown of what we just did we just finished the current events live stream uh, for we're doing it for a couple of hours and yesterday we did a meditation live stream where we talked about I sort of shared uh, sort of a Qigong standing meditation that um, I learned like 20 years ago 22 years ago or so uh, that a friend of mine who's a Tai Chi Qigong instructor has sort of incorporated that into his life showed me this meditation technique and I learned how to do it about 20 22 years ago or so and um, every now and then in the last couple of decades I've tried to start up again I do it for a few days and I stop and whatnot and it's sort of a meditation that you want to incorporate into your life and do on a daily basis so we did the live stream on it yesterday and um, we liked it it was fun and uh, it felt really good doing it and we had a current events live stream set up for today and we just finished our current events live stream and uh, i mentioned that we we're gonna just follow this up with another meditation live stream just a quick one so what we're going to do is wait until the notifications goes out on discord and a twitch and uh, as uh, as soon as people start rolling in i'm going to give a little quick recap intro of how this standing meditation is done and i'm tweaking a little bit based on what i did yesterday right um there was something that was mentioned uh cheryl mentioned that my elbow should have been a little bit lower and the chin you're going to be sort of tucking in it lifts your head and i'm just going to go through the posture again just making sure that uh the people that roll in because we had a whole bunch of people that were uh, uh there during the current events live stream and know some people wanted to come down for this so let me see where we're at let me see where we're at we see if the notifications go out nice view chill space right and it's a phenomenal meditation technique uh, style to do and yesterday I actually uh, went around and uh, showed people the lanterns as well that we have we had a little downtime discussion on uh, what the meditation was like And we have another angle here as well that we're going to turn on that i'm going to turn on right now let me just check the chat yeah people are slowly rolling in so let me turn on this as well da, 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 da. elder god i got a discord notification you got the discord notification awesome good let's turn on this guy as well this angle as well we'll give it another couple of minutes two or three four minutes because i know some people were planning on coming here cheryl right a long time no see <laughs> also also long time no see i really looking forward to i was like seriously i wanted to do the meditation earlier today but it, it, there's nothing wrong with doing it twice in one day but it, I wanted to uh, do it as soon as possible but I'm glad we're doing it now Chicho, the, goat. <laughs> the goatee the goatee uh, fun Chicho your calves need i know dude they do i need to i need to do my i need to do uh i need to get into doing weights uh i played a lot of soccer so i've been riding that wave for the last few decades and i did a lot of weights but i need to hit the gym i need to start doing weights 
Yeah, I, I bet, brother. I bet. I bet. Actually, I need to kick it up a notch. I've been lazy. I've been lazy. I was surprised I was able to hold this uh, this uh, standing meditation for as long as I did. But gang, should we do? Let's do this meditation. Okay. I'm going to go through the intro for it. Speedy Gonzalez style. Okay. So... For those that were here, they'll know what I'm gonna go through. It's gonna be pretty quick. For those that weren't, there isn't much to this. Look, it's a, it's I believe it's called a Qigong standing meditation. I don't know if there's an official name for it. So what you end up doing is, you're gonna stand in this position. You're gonna point your toes forward with your knees, right? You're not gonna stand like this. 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 You're standing straight with your toes pointing forward and you want your feet to be as wide as your shoulder. So you're, you're not gonna go wide like this, right? That's too wide and you're not gonna stand tight like this. What you wanna do is position your feet like they're as wide as your shoulders okay then what you need to do is you bend your knees slightly and basically the general gist is we're gonna bring our arms up like this and you're gonna hold this position okay now sideways when you look at it you're gonna point your toes forward and you're gonna bend your knees. Now, when you're bending your knees, make sure your knees don't go past your toes. You don't wanna do this, right? You wanna bend your knees, but be solid enough, right? That you're gonna do this, basically. Now, what you're imagining is that you're hanging from the top of your head by a string, okay? Now, when you're hanging by the top of your head by a string, you're visualizing your spine extending, right? And this standing meditation is really about extending the spine, right? And when you're doing this, when you're down like this, if you're lifting weights, you push your bum out because you need to protect the core. You tighten up the core, you push your bum out. You get the strength from your thighs, your legs and stuff, right? And you can do deadlifts uh, and whatever weightlifting you want to do. You don't do this one that way because you're not lifting weights, right? You're trying to stretch your spine. So when you go into your position, here, let me go here. When you go into your position, right? What you want to do is visualize yourself hanging from the string. And what's that gonna do is gonna push your chin in a little bit, right? You're not gonna be like this. You don't want your head to be out like this, right? You want to be like this, right? Your arms up and your hips, you want to drop as Cheryl told us, that's a good term for it. You, want, you don't want your hips to be like this, right? You want them to be like this, right? You want it to drop and you're gonna be standing, sort of stretching out your spine, hanging from a string, right? And you're gonna drop your elbows. You don't want your elbows to be here like this. You want them to be comfortable, okay? And your hands, you're gonna be sort of chilling on the same level as your shoulders, right? You don't wanna go up too high. You don't wanna to be too low. You sort of wanna be within this range, okay? And that's basically a standing meditation we're gonna do. And it's difficult at first, okay? A lot of people, when I first did this 20 years ago, 22 years ago, I could barely hold it more than three minutes, like two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. Yesterday I was able to do it more, I think mainly because I've, done it before in the past and some of those muscles are still there right so what you want to do you want to make this meditation do this meditation on a daily basis okay i've been told it's good to do it in the morning because it energizes you so it's a good way to start your day right 
for me, I mainly did this medita this meditation at night before I was, you know, during the time when I was winding down from the day and just before I was going to sleep. So I would do this meditation in general and then just do the nightly stuff and go to sleep, right? And for me, it really amplified my dreams a lot. It did energize me, but it calmed me down and it rejuvenated me and I woke up very energetic, okay? So it's really up to you when you wanna do this. But one thing you wanna do is you wanna do this on a daily basis for as long as you can, all right? The longest I've lasted is like 35 days, okay? And holding this posture for anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. You wanna go, you wanna ideally do this meditation for at least 100 days, an hour a day, right? And what you're gonna find is that you're gonna start, you're gonna, gonna, gonna be able to hold this position longer and longer and longer. And that's exactly what you're going for. And slowly what you're gonna feel is your spine, your body doing adjustments, little minor adjustments. You might get shakes happening in different places, okay? And if you want a more detailed explanation of this meditation, we did the live stream yesterday and that video will be up. So this is just a follow up because what I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna modify my posture a little bit and it's gonna be uh, trying to do this the first time, getting the proper posture is gonna be difficult. But so don't be too hard on yourself if you miss posture and if you're filming yourself, fantastic. You can replay the film, you can take a look at yourself and go, oh yeah, I was doing this wrong, I was doing this wrong. So for me, the adjustment I'm making to my posture from yesterday, I had my elbows a little too high. So I'm gonna drop my elbows and I'm gonna make sure my chin is tucked in. Not like this, but just enough that it does feel like that the top of my head is, I'm being, I'm hanging from a rope from the top of my head, okay? Now, that's the instructions, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this for as long as I can, and I'm not gonna, when I break my stance, if you're still doing your stance, continue your stance, okay? And I'm just gonna chill and just pull up a chair and just relax a little bit. We're not gonna, go extremely long in this live stream or talk about too many other things. Just want to have a routine where we're doing this, okay? So don't break your stance if you're holding it longer than I am. Keep it going, keep it going. And what you want to do is focus on a point ahead of you. And if you're, this is your first time doing this uh, or second time or the first few times you're doing this, don't necessarily close your eyes because you may lose your balance, okay? And you should feel burning on your thighs here and a few other places, okay?
with you. <laughs> I just read the app when comment 13 minutes. I've never been in the live chats before. What is he doing? It's a, it was a Qigong, practicing Qigong standing meditation. Love the widespread bookshop. Thank you. I built it. 40 minutes. Okay, gotcha. Never heard of that before. Dang, I had to pause like three times. But I jumped back in. GG. Awesome, awesome, Dr. P. Now free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Hell to God. So how long did we go? 14 minutes, 44 seconds. God, I broke sweat. Yeah, I'm sweating as well. For sure. But maybe I was sitting uh, really low in my stance. Yeah, the lower you go in your stance, the harder it is, right? Like I'm... I'm going like my leg is shaking right now right so today I went a little lower than yesterday okay longer than yesterday awesome it happens um, Cheryl asked for your question um, it felt better it, f it felt looser with my elbows down uh, more so I had my my weakness is my the right shoulder right so it was a little bit less shaking um and it didn't feel as tight so it was nicer lower down and i did try to go down with the knees a little bit lower uh this time yeah i played defense and ice hockey for 10 years awesome yeah it was better so yesterday's when i was my elbows were higher it was too much and they needed to be lower more natural and like again you can see it when this is higher and it's lower the i think the elbow socket is looser it's better it flows how can you meditate uh with standing and holding your arms up i thought you needed complete relaxation to let your mind kind of free up uh you actually what you end up doing is you're holding a position right in the right form and you're imagining yourself hanging from a rope from the top of your head so you're trying to elongate your spine and you're doing a little hip drop right and that elongates your lower spine as well now what you do when you hold one position you're putting your body into tension there's no doubt about it right but what you're doing is you're forcing your body to try to adjust right minor adjustments to balance out the weight of your body right so there's a lot of meditation for yoga as well when people are doing yoga you're not relaxed in yoga you're tight in yoga where you're tightening up so certain muscles and you're getting into a position and you're holding that position now what that does it i don't know the technicals of it but it your body sort of does the minor adjustments it needs to to get the energy flowing in the right direction do let go of the body you do let go of the body you're hold you're you're holding a position and you're letting the body adjust to that position right like there's a walking copy copy there's walking meditations that you can do as well so it's not just about becoming completely relaxed it's about getting yourself into a state of mind uh, may it be just being rigid walking relaxing whatever it is right so almost 15 minutes uh for me how long uh, uh there might be people still holding the position which is fantastic walking med is a busy area it's so fun walking meditation yeah so fun i love it dr p you bring a whole different temp to the rhythm you bring a whole different temp to the rhythm i love walking meditation just it's amazing it's amazing oh, i gotta stretch that and i went down lower this time for myself so i could feel the thighs burning uh, very nicely very nicely my hate can keep me static for quite some time, but it's a 2020 phenomenon. 
<laughs> you think ASMR is a form of meditation? It can be, yeah, sure. It's also a way to relax. It's also a way to learn, right? It's, uh, it helps, uh, it relieves anxiety. So once you relieve anxiety, it's, uh, you're more receptive to information. So ASMR is an amazing way, a state of mind to, be, to, to tune into if you want to learn something new, especially mathematics. Dr. P, yeah, I've been out of the yoga studios for about a month plus now uh, due to a foot injury, almost ready to get back also. It's the only time I feel like I've ever been put into a trance. Cool. Ian Vedder. Ian Vedder. Um, dancing as well. Dancing can definitely throw you into a trance. There's no doubt about it. And rhythmic walking, rhythmic anything, really. Right? gang how long are we up time 37 minutes cool i think what we'll do is uh legs hot legs hot <laughs> awesome feels good hey eh, dr b feels fantastic yeah it felt good for me yesterday when i did it when i woke up this morning it was like at the body it it, it felt like i did a workout it, it felt like I did a serious workout. Uh, and by the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Uh, thank you for the support. Oh, so feels good. Awesome. Awesome. Good. Gang, let's call the stream. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez style. And what we'll do is uh, I'm going to try to do this on a daily basis. And uh, peace and love indeed. And um, once I get into a rhythm, I think we're going to do uh, I might even set scheduled streams where we do this meditation because this was fantastic or I just do them randomly maybe this setup maybe other setups okay uh, aside from that the mods thank you for taking care of business gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussion thank you for participating in this meditation Cheryl thank you for the feedback and the direction really appreciate it really that would be excellent I think so too Cheryl I think it's uh It'll, it's something I want to incorporate into my life. I, I know it's going to improve my life. And if we can share, fantastic. I think that's one way of uh, making, you know, supporting each other uh, because it's the motivation aspect of it, right? Uh, so I think it'll, it'll be a good thing to do. It'll be a good thing to do. Elder God, actually, Chicho, I started timing you when, uh, timing when you went completely still. 15 minutes could be recorded on this desk okay thanks brother but that means i have to hold it longer on the next one right so it actually puts pressure on the next uh stance but I'm, what i'm going to do is um uh, i'll record myself next time if we're not doing a live stream inspiration for sure accountability as well be here and do it be here and do it exactly right and uh, I'll reach out to my friend who taught me this and see uh, see what he's up to. He's on the East Coast, so uh, maybe we because he's he's talked about live streaming as well and trying to start off some kind of daily ritual thing. So um, ritual meditation. So I'll once I upload these, I'll talk to him and see where he's at and see what we can do. I got gotcha, you, Tai Chi streamer on Twitch as well. Awesome, awesome. And he's a good instructor, my friend. I've learned a lot from him. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic evening, fantastic morning, fantastic afternoon. Um, we're going to do, I'm going to let you know right now. Most likely we're doing a live stream December 24th and one on December 25th. Okay. One of them most likely is going to be Jarring Honey and the other one is going to be playing our 10 by 10 puzzle. Most likely, but I'll let you know for sure in like two or three days once I get my rhythm in. Okay. Aside from that, gang, I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic next few days. Bye, everyone.